guys, it's Brittany here. I hope you're doing awesome. So, <laughs> I just wanted to do an update um, on how my pregnancy is going so far. I'm definitely going to do a sit down, really nice video about it and everything. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so far I haven't been doing a lot of updates because it has been um, a little stressful. Um, but things are looking good. Um, I went to the doctor twice last week. I went to the clinic once and the doctor um, another time and they both were not worried. I was spotting and I was really worried about it because um, I know that can be normal but that can also be not good. So I wanted to get it checked out because it was pretty consistent. Um, and the doctors both were like, no, I think it's just implantation bleeding still. Um, and I think that your baby implanted on a capillary, so it's making it bleed more than usual. Um, and that was kind of like the initial thing that they were thinking, which is probably true too. Um, but I was worried because it kept on, um, this is too much information, but um, it kept, it was very consistent. So. Um, sometimes I wouldn't have any spotting and sometimes when I wiped there would be spotting um, and it was mostly light brown which is totally normal and fine some a little bit of pink um, sometimes it seemed a bit darker like almost red which made me nervous but the doctor said um, they kept on saying it doesn't matter as long as it's not like enough to like not a drastic change and you don't have abdominal pain which I didn't which is good um, but I went to the hospital because I was really freaking out and I wanted to get my HCG checked again. The first one I got back was really, it was good. Um, it was 48 and I don't know how many weeks I am. We were very confused about how many weeks. So I'm pretty sure I'm five this week now. Um, so yeah, but I was worried about my HCG taking it again and we went to, I went to the hospital and got checked out and um, yeah, <laughs> it was too early. We did an ultrasound, which I thought was kind of silly because like if I'm only four or five weeks or whatever, like you're not gonna be able to see anything at all, which they they saw a thickened lining, which is a good sign of pregnancy, but um, it's too early. to. So I went to the hospital and I actually was really happy I went because he discovered that I actually have a negative blood type, um, which apparently only affects 10% of women. So of course I'm gonna get it, <laughs> all the random, like rare things, <laughs> but um, yeah, so <laughs> I um, I went in and then so they had to give me, I think it's called a rhesus shot, um, which is like, they said, especially your first pregnancy, it's not gonna hurt the baby at all. It's perfectly healthy for the baby. Um, um, but what happens is that when you have a negative blood type, um, your baby is most likely gonna have a positive blood type because that's, um, well, I guess that would be 90% of the population. Um, so 90% of the population has a positive blood type. Um, and those two blood types, your body might be like, what is this thing? Like, this is not the right blood type and, and see the foreign object. Um, but in your first pregnancy, it builds up antibodies, but not nearly enough to hurt it or anything or do anything bad. Um, but your second and on pregnancies, you have to be monitored more closely and you have to um, get shots right away, like the second you know you're pregnant from your doctor. Um, but yeah, so, <laughs> I'm kind of out of breath today. Um, but yeah, uh, so, yeah, so he gave me that shot. Um, and <laughs> um, so that's good. I'm glad I found that out, definitely. Um, and I just, I wait, I was probably at the hospital for six hours and I waited, um, and he, they took my blood. I'm not, I don't have that R, oh, I don't even know what it's called. It's like RH gene or whatever, um, <laughs> blood type. Um, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I, um, my HCG, we got it back. Um, that was the only thing like I'm worried about a little bit now because he's saying we're, it's most likely you are earlier than we think because, and I was thinking about this today and now after I was like done freaking out yesterday, um, I, I think I really am earlier <laughs> because the doctor told me, um, the doctor had told me that he thinks last week he's like, oh, okay, well, if your last period was this, 
and that means you're around five weeks or whatever. So I was like, okay, so that means I'm six weeks this week. Um, and, um, but the thing I didn't even think about, because it was it's kind of like weird to think about and complex, but um, I always ovulate way later in the month, like at the end of my cycle almost, is when I ovulate. So that has been literally every single month, except for maybe one. Um, I've ovulated late, so most likely my baby is a little bit younger than we like initially thought because the actual implantation and everything just happened last week. <laughs> so I'm probably only five weeks now. Um, so I was earlier definitely than I thought, I think. So that's a good thing because he was like, if you're like six, seven weeks, then this is your HDG is a little bit low and we gotta watch it and do more tests, which I'm gonna do anyway, just to be safe and everything. But he's like, but if you're earlier than that, then we have nothing to worry about. It's totally fine. Like you're right on track and you're like exactly where you need to be and perfect. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm just earlier, hopefully. Um, but I was really nervous um, because, yeah, um, it's a stressful situation. But I, I, my pregnancy symptoms are increasing um, as time goes on. I felt really nauseous today. So they did an ultrasound, but it was too early. They definitely saw a thickened lining, which is right along, like, once I, like, recalculated and realized where I'm actually... Um, what my due date, like what everything is and every, um, I realized that like that's good, that's right along and she was like this means, she's like first of all before I say anything, this means absolutely nothing because you're so early that you have to wait for that magical moment for the baby to actually like be big enough to be visible and she's like I'm not worried at all, I'm just, um, we just thought we'd check and see since you're here to do an ultrasound because thank goodness I live in Canada and all of our healthcare is free well it's not really free like we pay tons of taxes <laughs> on everything but that's what pays for our health care so if they're just like hmm, they they basically are like let's run all the tests and then make sure everything's okay which is really nice um so yeah but it's still too early um i'm gonna come back next tuesday um to do another ultrasound and they might be able to see, hopefully they'll be able to see something then. Go back on Thursday to do another HCG beta test um, to make sure my levels are going up. And I'm really hoping and praying everything is good and they're going up really high, that'd be awesome. Um, that's what I'm mostly worried about right now, but I'm hoping everything is good and going up. My pregnancy symptoms are increasing by the day. I still have very strong positive tests. Um, so all the signs are good. Um, spotting is definitely slowing down and almost stopping so that is really good like as soon as I had the shot um, I felt a lot better um, so I think that that is gonna help a lot and it's gonna like he said that's all that's most likely the cause of um, all the spotting that I was having and he said like it is totally normal to spot like that in pregnancy throughout your whole first trimester um, and especially like this if I had never heard of this till he told me about it, but like if you have a negative blood type, it's very common because your body's just flushing out that blood um, because it doesn't know what to do with it. It's like, it's two different kinds of blood. Like, what is this doing in here? Um, but it's totally fine. And that's just your body's way of keeping everything around the baby healthy and safe. So that's a good thing, actually. Um, yeah, and I think my symptoms that I've been having um, my boobs are full, very full, um, and heavy, and they are starting to get a little bit sore, especially in the nipples, um, but not, nothing too crazy, like once in a while I'll have shooting pains in them. Um, my belly is definitely very bloated, and it does look like it's getting bigger, honestly, already, like it, but it's very, very bloated and, and um, big that way. Um, and just being very nauseous, like... Uh, all day today is probably the most nauseous day I've had. Um, so, yeah, like when I, before I wake up, if I'm getting hungry at all, um, I'll get really nauseous and I have a huge appetite. Like, I can eat like two dinners and still be hungry. Um, so, and I usually have no appetite whatsoever, so I have a really big appetite. 
Um, I do, I'm starting to get some food aversions, which is really funny. I have, I can't, um, the smell of potatoes makes me want to throw up. I don't know why. Um, and eating onions, they just taste so strong to me. Like, especially red onions, I just can't eat them. Like, they're so strong, it gives me an instant headache. <laughs> and then um, another thing is like I keep on getting really bad like almost migraine headaches and tension headaches and um, like it's usually in my forehead sort of area but it's sometimes the back of my head and it's really like like uh, really bad headaches and I never get headaches um, and yeah like I, I definitely I'm either really tired or I'm having insomnia so my sleep is kind of all over the place right now um, I think that's everything like I still have an increase of CM which is good sign and good thing because um, it's forming a mucus plug for me so yeah but everything is going good so far I'm just hoping and praying that everything keeps on going up and up and up and good um, that my HCG levels rise a lot um, and hopefully they should because I think it was just really stressful because I was thinking like I was farther along than I was but then like really sitting down theory it out and thinking about it because this month was so unexpected we only baby danced one time and um, I don't even know what day it was on I didn't record it so yeah <laughs> So I'm just like, oh, like I don't know um, all of the details and stuff. So, but that's okay. So we're just trying to figure it all out. And yeah, so I think I'm in five weeks this week. Um, and I'm hoping and praying my bed goes up and up and up, and it should be good. Um, my spotting is getting much better, which is great. And I think it's going to continue to get better because of that shot. So now, like that shot is like a blood type. It's created, it's a synthesized version of blood, so it's basically um, something that is going to make your body think, oh, okay, so your blood is now the same as the baby's, so we don't have to worry about it and not produce any antibodies. It like tricks your body into thinking that you have the same blood type as the baby. Um, so that's good. <laughs> so it like, it fixes everything for you and makes everything good. And I do feel, I feel like so much healthier now that I take this shot, like so much better, so much more lively. Um, so that is good. And it's very good to know for future pregnancies because we got to go in right away and, and get that shot. So yeah, so that's my little update for now. Um, we're extremely excited and happy. Um, I'll do another video uh, about us. We actually told um, quite a lot of my family and Jason's family, not everybody yet, but um, we're in the process. Um, I kind of wanted to wait longer, but it's it kind of just like organically happened that they found out and, and we told them so yeah, but they're all very supportive and very happy and, and excited so that's great and let's just hope and pray our little bean is healthy. We've been calling him little spud <laughs> and um, grows up strong and good. So yes, so wish us good luck. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Subscribe and like for more videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.